our loving God, we praise and thank you for the blessings you have given to us. Thank you for giving us a chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that has caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless us with the wisdom to understand our lesson and the joy to learn with our classmates. Bless also our teachers as they impart to us the value of learning. Help us to become children you want us to be. This we pray of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Science 10 online class. My name is Ma'am Joanna Arkongson and I am your science subject teacher. Today's online class provides a different way to study and place different skills from students. You will find that as an online learner, self-motivation and discipline are paramount. This means that you are completely responsible for establishing and maintaining a regular study system. Hope that you will be active in listening and enjoying the fun of learning science. So once again, good afternoon. Let's engage in watching a video presentation. Five billion years ago, a nebula, a cloud of gas and rock began to come together by gravity. As it condensed, pieces of debris collided with each other. And friction of their collisions heated the rocks. One of those hot new planets was our young Earth. Its interior, hot from friction and the decay of the radioactive element, reached over 25,000 degree Fahrenheit. Slowly, that hot earth developed a cold crack crust. Those cracks form the boundaries of a series of crustal tectonic plates that today are broken into 17 pieces. The heat from the Earth's formation is incredibly still trapped inside our planet. That rising molten heat forces our plates apart in some places and pushes them together in others. When plates pull apart, a diverging reef develops. Volcanic eruptions occur here. When continental tectonic plates collide, mountains rise. And continents join. Terrible earthquakes result. When ocean plates converge, volcanoes explode. And tsunamis long south.
Our country is blessed with so many land features such as mountains and volcanoes. These features can be sources of different minerals or can be used for agricultural purposes. For example, we have the majestic and world-renowned Mayon Volcano. Because of its activity, it produces fertile slopes and plains, which are used by the locals to grow their crops. Also, found in the northeastern coast of Luzon, we have the Sierra Madre mountain range, which is home to many endemic species of flora and fauna. Have you ever wondered why our country is endowed with this kind of geologic features? So our lesson is all about the plate tectonics, possible causes of plate movement. Today's lesson is taken from the most essential learning competencies in Science 10, and this is to describe, explain the different processes that occur along the plate boundaries and the possible of causes of plate movement. So our lesson objectives, after going through this lesson, you are expected to A. Identify the three types of plate movement. B. Describe each type of plate movements. And C. Explain and describe the possible causes of plate movements. Let us answer the activity one for our exploration entitled Fill Up the Boundary. To answer, you have to complete the blanks with the appropriate words that describe the statement. The objectives of this activity A. Identify the three types of plate movements. B. Describe each type of plate movement. C. Illustrate each type in relation with the direction of plate movements. To answer this activity, you are only given 3 minutes to finish. Now you're done, so let's proceed to explain the three types of plate boundaries. The three main types of plate boundaries are the following. Number one, the convergent boundaries. When we talk about convergent boundaries, there are two plates that are colliding. Subduction zones occur when one or more of the tectonic plates are composed of oceanic crust. The denser plate is subducted underneath the less dense plate. The plate being forced under is eventually melted and destroyed. Now, there are three conditions that involve convergent boundaries. The first one is where oceanic crust meets continental crust. The denser oceanic plate is abducted, often forming a mountain range on the continent. The Andes is an example of this type of collision. The second one is where the oceanic crust meets oceanic crust. So both are oceanic crust. Island arcs and oceanic trenches occur when both of the plates are made of oceanic crust. Zones of active seafloor spreading can also occur behind the island arc, known as the back arc basins. These are often associated with submarine volcanoes. The third condition under the convergent plate boundary is where continental crust meets continental crust. Both continental crusts are too light to subduct, so a continent-continent collision occurs, creating especially large mountain ranges. And the most spectacular example of this is the Himalayas. The second plate boundary is known as the divergent boundaries, wherein two plates are moving apart. 
The space created can also fill with new crustal material sourced from molten magma that forms below. Divergent boundaries can form within continents but will eventually open up and become ocean basins. There is a divergent boundary happening on land. Divergent boundaries within continents initially produce reefs, which produce reef valleys. And there is also a divergent boundary that is happening under the sea. The most active divergent plate boundaries are between oceanic plates and are often called the mid-oceanic ridges. The third plate boundary is known as the transformed boundaries, where plates slide past each other. The relative motion of the plates is horizontal. They can occur underwater or on land, and crust is neither destroyed nor created. Because of friction, the plates cannot simply glide past each other. Rather, stress builds up in both plates, and when it exceeds, the threshold of rocks, the energy is released and causing earthquakes. For elaboration, learners will answer the guide questions in 3 minutes only. Here are the guide questions. For number 1, how subduction zone occurred in two colliding plates? Number 2, what happened when two plates are moving apart? Number 3, what will happen when oceanic crust converge with each other? Number four, how is mountain ranges formed? Number five, what will happen when two plates slide past each other? For our evaluation, answer the assessment. Our code to ponder. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. By Malcolm X. That's all for today's lesson class. Thank you. See you on the next video lesson. God bless and goodbye. Bye class.